Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate a markup. So I'm also going to show you how are you going to use your markup when you are calculating a sales and when you are calculating a cost of sales as well as when you are calculating a gross profit. Okay, so I'm going to use a very simple step. So this video is not going to take long. Okay, number one, as you can see, on this side, we have been given the information on the on the income statement. So this is the only information that we use when we calculate a markup. So we have sales, cost of sales, and a gross profit. Okay, they give us the amount there. Then on this side, questions number one, they said calculate a markup. So when we calculate a markup, we have to use the formula uh, gross profit. We use gross profit and we divide it by cost of sales and we multiply by 100 so this is the formula that we are going to use to obtain the markup percentage in this case from there we're going to calculate the other questions all right so if you say a gross profit of 80000 and you divide it by 200000 we multiply by 100 you are going to get a markup of 40%. Okay, if you calculate that, you're going to get a markup of 40%. Now, let's assume that you have been given a markup, but on the markup that you have been given, they want you to use a percentage to prove the amount of sales. All right, so now which means that we are going to use this markup to calculate our sales, our cost of sales, as well as gross profit so this is what you have to do guys very simple number one when you calculate a sales you assume that you don't have this amount of sales but because you have 40 percent of markup which is our profit our gross profit 40 percent which means that this one is 100 percent and the sales is 140 percent because this sales has included what a profit and our expenditure is 100 percent now we want a sales amount very simple we can use either this one or this one all right let's just use a cost of sales which means that to get a cost of sales using a markup guys in this case we are we don't want you to add these two but we want you to prove it using what a markup all right which means that you are going to say a two hundred thousand of cost of sales multiply by on top you put what you are looking for you are looking for what for sales which is 140 percent this one and what you have here is 100 percent 100 percent so if you do this calculation you are going to get 280 thousand all right or if you don't want this one you can say 80 thousand Let's just assume that you have been given gross profit only. You can, you can say gross profit multiplied by 140 over 40. You're still going to get amount of 280,000. Very simple. Okay, number three, use the percentage to prove a gross profit. Now we assume that we don't have gross profit. We only have either this one or this one only. All right, very simple. If you are using 280, you're going to say 280,000 multiply by uh, what we are looking for is 40%. It's 40 over what we have. We have 140 because we choose to use amount of sales. But if we choose cost of sales, we were going to say 200 multiply by 40 over 100 because 100 is what we have in that case. Okay, if you do this, you're going to get 80 thousand okay or you use the alternative option that i was saying two hundred thousand multiply by 40 over 100 you're gonna get the same amount of eighty thousand. the last one use the percentage to prove the cost of sales okay we're gonna use the same step you can say 280 thousand multiply by what you are looking for in this case is cost of sales. You are looking for 100%. 100 over what we have, 140. 
you're gonna get amount of 200,000. Okay. Simple as that. So I hope you learn something guys in this video. Thank you so much guys. Just appreciate us by subscribing on this channel if you are an accounting student. Thank you so much.